Hello everyone, this is Tejas from Archery Factory presenting to you this comparison video. In today's video, I will tell you about the quest line of handsets and by the end of this video, you will know how to make the correct decision according to your needs. Let's get started. First things first, price. You want your wallet to thank you or not for the decisions you make. The Oculus Quest 2 comes at a cheaper price coming in at $6.99 AED or $12.99 AED depending on where you buy it from. The MetaQuest 3 comes at a steeper price at $14.49 AED to $21.99 AED. Do not be discouraged by the steep price, we will discuss how it is worth it later. Next, let's talk about displays. The Oculus Quest 2 features a single LCD panel with a resolution of 1832 to 1920 pixels per eye. While it's decent, the MetaQuest 3 takes it up a notch with its advanced display technology. Offering a stunning resolution of 2064 by 2208 pixels per eye. This means you'll experience sharper visuals and a more immersive experience on Quest 3. Performance matters. The Oculus Quest 2 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 platform, which handles most VR experiences smoothly. The Quest 3, however, comes with an enhanced version of the XR2 processor offering even better performance and future-proofing. Expect smoother gameplay and a longer support window for new features and updates. Let's expand our horizons. MetaQuest 3 offers an expanded field of view compared to Quest 2. The enhanced optics also reduce the so-called screen door effect, providing clearer, more vivid visuals. Now. It's time to talk pass-through. The Oculus Quest 2 has no res cameras for its pass-through, although it is good enough to not cause yourself any harm or pick up your controllers. Although Quest 3 is a different story, Meta Quest 3 takes pass-through to a whole new level with its high-resolution cameras. It's like having a window to your world, but in amazing quality. You can see details, colors, and even read text with ease. It's perfect for grabbing snacks, finding your friends, or just checking out on your surroundings without missing a beat in your virtual environment. Let's talk about headset comfort. Who wants a headache after a gaming session? Nobody. The MetaQuest 3 is comfortable enough, but the Oculus Quest 2 still has better comfort. Although it being a previous generation headset, it's lighter, it has a better fit, and feels like a cloud sitting on your head. Say goodbye to pressure points and hello to hours of comfortable VR fun. Let's talk about the controllers. Your controllers are your weapons, tools, and magic wands in the VR world. The Oculus Quest 2 controllers get the job done, but they're a bit bulky and include an extra tracking ring. The MetaQuest 3 controllers are like a dream come true. Sleeker, lighter, and then better tracking. You'll feel like you have more control and precision in your virtual hands due to Quest 3 using a hybrid of three depth of field tracking, hand tracking, Sensors inside the controllers set infrared illuminators in the faceplate of the controllers. Nobody likes running out of power in the middle of a play session. The MetaQuest 3 battery life is decent clocking in at about 1 hour 40 minutes and 90 minutes in augmented reality. But the Oculus Quest 2 gives you extra play time. More battery life means longer adventures and less charging time. So, which one is right for you? If you're on a budget and don't buy the slightly lower resolution and features, the Oculus Quest 2 is a solid choice. It does have better battery and better comfort and fit features, although it being a headset of yesteryear. But if you want the best possible VR experience with stunning visuals, improved performance, and a slightly less comfortable fit, MetaQuest 3 is the clear winner. Remember, the best VR headset is the one that fits your needs and budget. Consider what you'll be using it for most and how much you're willing to spend. Both headsets have their strengths and weaknesses, and some headsets may be better than others for specific tasks. That's it for this video. I hope this helps you decide which quest headset is perfect for you. Let me know in the comments which one you're leaning towards and why. Thanks for watching this video. Like if you liked the video, dislike if you did. Please subscribe as we are looking to reach 5000 subscribers by the end of this year. Goodbye.